In this episode, we finally gain entry into the ruins of the Tybos power plant, neighboring the Haifel power plant that we explored in the previous episode. Join us as we step into the past, exploring the workshops and offices that has been abandoned for the better part of over 20 years. After finally finding entry into the compound containing the Highfeld and Tybos power plants, we discovered that the remains of the Highfeld power station were in an advanced state of decay, with not much left but the faint shadow of its former statue. Now we're crossing from the southern section into the northern section of the compound, which contains the ruins of Tybos power plant, which in contrast to the Highfeld power plant still has massive structures left standing in the form of workshops, the ruins of an office area, and our final destination, the three-storey office block. So this was like the workshop area. Yeah, workshops. I think like machine shops more than the workshop really. If you look at the structure, it looks like it was part of an old machine shop. It's too big to be a normal workshop because I think this definitely was machine machining shops. Yeah. But they've blocked off most of it with ash bags and... I see that one has been filled up completely almost to the roof with bags and ash. Most of the buildings are completely um, filled with these ash bags. Let's see if we can find some way to get in, just to film a, full, a small section of this. There's yeah, a, at least get some footage of it. Yeah, we can climb in, yeah. Yeah, how it always starts peeling after a while. It's thick, eh? I wonder how many years of pain it's actually on here. There's some old uh, roofing sheets over here. I think this stuff might be asbestos. That's a room you don't want to be in. Yeah. This guy is the cleanest office in the whole complex. Nice spacious windows. Can you imagine a filing cabinet in the corner with a desk? Yeah. yeah, this one we can also climb over. Yeah, we'll have to probably go out the same way. She doesn't say much. <laughs> so why it's hustle photography, not hustle talk your heart out. <laughs> More than we can't play photography. I think this will be our exit point here because it's, yeah, it's, it's blocked off there with those ash bags. Mm. 
So I'm going to squeeze over here and hopefully not break my neck. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. So your turn to see if you can make a smoother exit. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah, it's eerie how quiet it is actually. Looks like there was like a loading bay because this will be mm. like where you will bring in the trucks. So they would have had like roller shutter mm -hmm. doors there. I think we take this passage back to where the jeep is and then. Mm. You want to go into this? One this one little one, yeah. Uh, then we can move on. Maybe there's some ruins in the back. Yeah. But this place is huge. Right? I mean, there's two power stations. Yeah, it's, it's thanks to the guys not doing a proper demolishing job that there's something left for us to film at least. It's a pretty... We didn't have the opportunity to do this while the whole um, power station was still standing. Yeah. yeah. It says here, washing hands is a healthy habit. Hey, Yo, how it's like timeless, especially with the conditions of the world yeah, at the moment. <laughs> yeah. All the broken glass, eh? Yeah, so in the distance is the office block that we've come to actually also see. It's about three stories high, that one, I think. If you take the roof into account, it's four stories up. Yeah, four stories at least. Yeah, four stories. And then the section of building left there, we'll also go and have a look. Yeah, well, that's going to be the next block. Yeah. And from there, we're going to have to try and make our, our way all the way across. Finding, well, we haven't scouted that whole section yet, so all the way to that office block. Yo. Well, let's see if we can get there. Yeah, this is not normal sand. It looks like uh, there's some of it that looks like sand, but most of it is this like uh, it's like an ash type. I don't know. Eh? Very, yeah, very, very dusty. It's not. It's not clean ash. I think it's something else. But I don't know where they where they got. Hopefully it's not dangerous because now we've touched it. <laughs> and we, we can't wash our hands because they've taken the washing basin with, so that was clever. So I have a little faith that maybe <laughs> all your fears are in order. It's not a problem. <laughs> well, I haven't licked my fingers yet, so. Not yet. Just don't not yet. about it. Don't pick your nose with this stuff, you might grow sick. I like it or hate it, so. <laughs> <laughs> we'll come fetch a bag for, yeah. for dinner. Come back for more. Yeah, it's a lot. I wonder how they got this in here. Yeah, that's stacked to the ceiling, basically. Look, you can climb up there, but it's going to be a mission. I, I mean, how safe it's going to be. No, I wouldn't try. Yeah, so guys, that's the workshop area, and uh, we'll uh, have to move on. We're running towards lunchtime, so um, I'm going to try and finish just before the end of the day. And we don't know what the road holds ahead because we haven't been to that part yet. We had at least a little bit of shade for the Jeep. In its heyday, Highfelt and Tybos power station each employed roughly 460 people. 
Although the two power plants were adjacent, they were run separately, each with its own housing arrangements, with a convenience store, medical facility and a post office. The post office was known as the Krachbron Post Office, which later became the collective name of the two power plants. Yeah, we might be able to get through here. Just, uh, just mind your step again. So I presume this was like a reception area because of the bench that's standing here. And uh, yeah, this has been long um, left to ruin. You can see the actual tree inside. Obviously no, no roof or anything on any of these buildings. In fact, you can see the old roof trusses busy rotting away. And, uh, well, that's what's left. Yeah, it's like a courtyard, yeah. Yeah, it's, um, I think they get the idea because it's, I mean, it's so overgrown, you can't go much no, deeper, but deeper. the general design structure with the, you know, with the windows and I think it must have had quite high ceilings and then when you get to other sections, the ceilings are quite low, which yeah. is strange, but I think this must have been offices because... Yeah, definitely, when you look at the entrance, this is like a reception. Yeah. So and there's a little bit of a guard house when yeah, you come in. Definitely a, um, like an office block. This looks like a nice section here. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we have to find a way through all these bushes. Yeah, don't fall in those, eh? No, that's unfortunately part and parcel of South Africa yeah. where the guys, the copper, copper thieves, yeah. stealing electrical cables and these are all casings. Definitely, this is where they burned it to get the copper out. Yeah, this is yes, this is also quite huge. Yeah. yeah. Well, it can, well, both of them can be bought and can come, become used like this. They have more than one board. Yeah. yeah. There's still buildings in the back, eh? This looks like uh, a scene from Jurassic Park with the foliage and the overgrowth. I'm gonna try and get that side. Well, we can we can go through here if you want. Yeah. Let's see. I don't have much battery life left though, so. Yeah, I'm also running low. Yeah, 
but but the whole structure is actually cracking if you look at this there's this whole i mean this has been this has been left for a long time because that tree is growing straight out of the concrete and it's not a small tree a lot of the old homes also used to have these slate um, floors proper i'm wondering when you're going to see something like this yeah mm. the old bathroom mm. i doubt if we'll find a toilet or anything but no there's actually a toilet in here with a plant growing out of it In the next episode, we finally make our way to the three-story office block of Tybos Power Plant. We even stop at the ruins of the old Krakum Post Office. So join us next time as we conclude our exploration of this amazing compound that once kept the lights on in an era now long forgotten.